surrounded by magnificent red mountains and nestled at the confluence of the Frying Pan and the Roaring Fork Rivers, about halfway between the glitzy resort of Aspen and the town of Glenwood Springs. Basalt is a small yet quaint Colorado gem and the gateway to many Colorado adventures. Due to its convenient location, Basalt attracts Roaring Fork Valley residents and visitors alike for a variety of pastimes, including the arts, special events, culture, and fine dining. The town is also home to some of the best local shopping where chic boutiques meet rustic mountain style to create a bright and attractive downtown promenade area. You'll find some historic buildings, a historic walking tour, um, some really neat items like the Basalt Chamber of Commerce caboose, as well as the old Midland Depot for the trains that used to come in here. The coolest thing about Basalt is that it's small and personal and friendly, and you know everyone, and it's a community. It's kind of a quaint little hometown feel here. Shopping in Basalt is an eclectic experience, and its artistic spirit is omnipresent, with some galleries actually referred to as museums. Here, visitors can admire artwork created by local artists who have been represented in the Roaring Fork Valley for decades. If you're looking for that special gift or an item to decorate your home, Basalt's one-of-a-kind downtown is the perfect place to find it and a stroll down Midland Avenue or Two Rivers Road will allow you to shop for art, for clothing, or for a wide variety of keepsakes and interesting knickknacks at unique stores. It's a fantastic little town which is just coming into its own with art galleries and restaurants and pretty soon a park. And adding to all this is Basalt's newest commercial area with the Mid Valley Willits Center the location of more home goods and recreational stores. However, one of Basalt's main attractions remains its fly fishing on two gold medal rivers, the Frying Pan and the Roaring Fork allowing Basalt to tout itself as the trout fishing capital of North America. Maybe that seems like a bold statement or just one of those fishing stories, but truly, what other town in North America has one of the great western tailwaters? The Frying Pan River, flowing right through it. Year-round fishing with plenty of public access in the middle of town, and also sits at the confluence of not one, but two gold medal rivers, namely the Roaring Fork and the Frying Pan. And um, we have abundant fish here. We are hosting the U.S. National Fly Fishing Team USA Championship this year and we're just super excited to have a lot of people from all over the country be able to come in and experience our gold medal rivers. And if you wonder what the big deal is about gold medal water, you need only realize that the Colorado Wildlife Commission has designated these fishing areas as providing great spots to catch large trout. In fact, they are able to produce 60 pounds of trout with at least 12 14-inch trout per acre. We've got rainbow trout, brown trout, and a couple cutthroats mixed in with them. Uh, it's a gold medal stream, which means it's all catch and release. Uh, and you're not allowed to use bait throughout the whole tailwater section from basalt to the dam. We're on the Frying Pan River. Uh, it's a tailwater fishery, which means it's fed by root eye reservoir. It comes out the bottom of the lake, flows at a cold, constant temperature, which keeps a healthy population of pretty large trout here all year round. Great fishing every month out of the year and uh, excellent insect hatches especially uh, throughout the summers when we get our big mayfly hatches, the PMDs and the green drakes. <laughs> 